guys, it's Zaylee, and today I'm coming to you with a faux lock Q&A. So I've been getting so many questions about my faux locks. <laughs> so I'm gonna answer a few of them today. And um, if you do have any more questions, please let me know down below and I'll be happy to do another video answering more of your questions. So as you know, I've cut my locks and I've just been enjoying doing protective styling to grow out my TWA, which is my teeny weeny afro. So I've been doing, I haven't done like a weave just yet, but I've done crochet wigs. I've also done um, Marley twists. Senegalese twists, Havana twists. <laughs> I've done twists and so the other day I had twists in my hair and I just felt for a difference. So what I did was I got some Marley braids and I actually wrapped it around the twists. And um, so I have an entirely different hairstyle which I'm totally enjoying. So I wanna show you guys how I kinda take care of having faux locks and um, just making sure that, you know, I'm up to par with making sure that my hair is healthy under these things, right? Because you don't want your hair to be stressed out. So one of the things I absolutely do not do while having faux locks in my hair is make it like tight. So if I'm pulling it up into a bun or so, I do not do it tightly. And I don't do it as soon as I've done my hair either because that can cause tension. And we don't want tension because we want our hair to um, not get pulled out, <laughs> right? So, so definitely be careful about how much you are pulling your hair and manipulating it into different styles because we wanna be really careful about that. We need our hair. <laughs> what my goal is, is to grow a healthy head, head of hair under my protective styling and just be able to wear my healthy hair when I feel like it, right? So another thing that I definitely do is make sure that I'm using some sort of product in my hair that keeps my hair feeling really great, like a spray-on leave-in conditioner. So the one I'm using right now is actually from Cream of Nature and I got it in my Coco Teak August box which was a Cream of Nature takeover. I'll drop a code for that down below so you will know all about Coco Teak. It's one of my favorite, favorite subscription boxes and their team is wonderful. They're, they're just wonderful on the whole. So definitely check that out and make sure that, you know, you learn more about Coco Teak because I love them. Anyway, so I've been using that spray on my hair and I'm able to really evenly distribute it, um, which is perfect for me, <laughs> right? So the next thing that I wanted to answer because um, someone asked, how long did it take me to do the Marley braids? Sorry, not the Marley braids. How long did it take me to do my faux locks? So um, I would say about seven hours. Now remember, I had twists before, and so after my twists, I decided to just wrap it with Marley hair. Why did I choose Marley hair? I love the texture of Marley hair. It's kind of um, reminiscent of our unprocessed natural hair, and so I just love using that. I know a few people use the Kinecolon. Um, I'm not too much, too much of a fan of that because I feel like the locks are super shiny when you do it with that as opposed to just being cute. So, well my version of cute that is. <laughs> so I just enjoy um, using Marley Braid instead of Kinecolon, right? Um, another question that I really wanted to answer is how do I keep my scalp moisturized or you know nourished while I'm wearing a protective style such as this one now I don't use grease or I don't use um, much oils on my scalp either when I have something like this in um, just for the fact that I just don't want to stifle my hair follicles <laughs> I hope I'm using the right word but so what I do is I just use that leave-in I may occasionally use a light oil and um, really really light oil so you know when I am washing because I do wash my hair because I work out a lot and I sweat in my hair a lot so I do wash my hair with these in and um, I give it a great shampoo and a good condition 
spray. Um, really careful with that as well because you don't want conditioner to leave residue on your scalp because it's a little harder to wash out than wearing your natural hair. So those are a few tips that I do have for wearing faux locks. <laughs> And if you guys have any more questions about it, be sure to drop it down in the comments below. Also, definitely check out my blog, which is thezaleyshow.com, and check me out on Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, everywhere. I'm on all social media as The Zaley Show, just like on YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to know more about this video. And if you are interested in me giving you the details on this look, you can definitely head over to my Instagram or just leave a comment and I'll do a YouTube video on it. So I will see you guys soon. <laughs> Enjoy, darlings. <laughs> Take care. Just need something